Well, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario. It is a stunning day today. I woke up this morning, the water was like glass, a clear mirror image of the shoreline. And as you can probably tell, the sun has not yet come over the top of the house because it's pretty early here. We're expecting a lot of heat and humidity for the next few days, so I wanted to get a jump on the day's work. We're going to tackle that second cherry tree that we talked about a few videos ago. So if you've got some time and you've got a coffee, maybe relax, and I'd love it if you join me for the day. Let's get her done. Cheers. So this is the target here, the cherry tree. It's leaning hard over the driveway and I just like to get this down and out of the way because I know it's eventually going to fall and probably at a time when I have no time to cut it up. What's really nice about today's video is that this is the first time since I've owned this property where I have all the tools and equipment available to me to actually look after this tree on one day and at one time. You know, usually as you've seen me driving up the driveway, you'll see the butt of different trees sticking out at the sides of the driveway because you know, it's difficult to try to pull a tree out of the driveway when it's fallen, when you don't have a tractor or you don't have a way to do it. So you basically, you know, you cut back the tree and you leave everything hanging on the sides of the driveway. Or you have the tractor now and you're picking up the tree and you can cut it up, split it, block it, split it for firewood, but you've got no way to look after the branches. So I usually end up having to pile the branches in the trailer, take it to a burn pile, and then wait till I, get, till I can get a permit to burn it. But today, I've got the tractor, the grapple, uh, I'm going to borrow my neighbor's uh, log splitter and I still have the chipper from Farmer Equipment Sales because they were kind enough to let me keep it for a couple of weeks to use it around the property. So I'm going to be able to fell this tree today, block it, split it, take care of the branches, get everything all cleared up all in one day and use the entire tree. So I'm pretty excited about that because usually, you know, I don't like to leave things unfinished and I usually end up with piles of branches all over the lot until I'm able to burn them. The other thing I wanted to mention I'm not an expert, uh, as you folks know, so this video is just showing me doing it, but I'm not trying to tell you how to do it. Lastly, I was fortunate enough, I had a couple of subscribers that gave me a few pointers from the last time I felled a tree, and I'm going to use that advice today when cutting this one. So I'm going to see if that works a little better, because I know my notch the last time was not, you know, a very good notch and might have contributed to why the tree didn't fall exactly where I wanted it to fall. So we're going to put all that together today. This is the tree. Uh, I'll show you above me. This is where we're going to drop it. It's going to drop to the right side of this ash tree that's in front of me and hopefully she'll fall roughly where I need it to fall and we can get going. Get her done before the heat comes in. Cheers. Okay, so I've marked my tree. I want, I'm hopefully expecting it to fall this way and I've already figured out my escape route and cleared it out so that I have nothing to trip over in case I have to run. So uh, let's fire it up. Let's drop this tree.
Okay, well, special thanks to one of my subscribers, TDP. I did a 30 degree and a 60 degree, and it fell exactly where I wanted it to fall. So uh, I'm getting a little better. Okay, so she dropped exactly where I needed it to fall. Uh, you'll notice again, like many other trees on the property, there's always a lot of rot in the center of the tree, which is what we had here. You can probably see it above me. And so we're gonna cut this thing up. Uh, one of my neighbors wants about six feet of it. Then we're going to block the rest for firewood, and then I'm going to chip those branches, and we're going to get this whole thing cleaned up today. Stick with me. Cheers. <laughs> fire up the tractor, let's get the loader back on it with the grapple and uh, change out the back implement. I'm going to throw my carry-all on there so I can grab the wood that I blocked to take over to Guy's place, as well as I have to deliver that six-foot strip over to my buddy Dave. Okay. I gotta tell you, I gotta hand it to whoever figured out this quick connect thing, because I don't know what folks did with tractors years ago when they didn't have it, because I flipped the land pride off the back, put my carry-all on, and I'm just about finished hooking up the loader, and it's been literally 10, 12 minutes, and I've got it all swapped out, and I'm ready to go back at that tree. But my hat's off, and I'm really glad I got a tractor that had the quick connect, for sure. Okay, she's all loaded up in the old carry-all. I'm going to grab these blocks, I'm going to pick up the six-foot length, I'm going to drop the six-foot off to my uh, friend Dave, and then I'm going to take the blocks over to my friend Guy and drop them off. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll get rid of the branches. So the blocks are over at Guy's, six footers over at Dave's, place is really clean. All I've got left to do is to chip these branches and I am totally cleaned up for the first time. Had the equipment, got it all done in one day. Stick around, let's finish her up. She'll take a few minutes.
All right, she's all wrapped up. One and done today. First time ever. Uh, it really helps when you have the right equipment or the right machines to do the job. Feels really good to be able to start it in the morning and get it done and check that off the chores list. Uh, special thanks to one of my subscribers, TDP. Uh, I really appreciate the extra advice on how to notch the tree and how to uh, figure out where to get it to fall. Because it worked great today, the notch went well, uh, and it fell exactly where I needed it to fall. Uh, a couple of things you might have noticed that there were some markings on the tree. And I'm not sure about yourself, but I find that when I'm standing around the trunk of the tree on uneven ground, I find it very difficult to find a level line to do my notch. So what I did is I grabbed my marker paint, stood back on the level ground, got an idea of what was straight, and then I walked up and just sprayed a line across the middle of the trunk so I could get a bit of a, an orientation when I was standing beside it doing my cutting. So I hope it was helpful for you folks, or at least entertaining. Uh, if you like the channel, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm putting out videos, just uh, click that little bell. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get the same weather we do here. Uh, you can probably see the lake behind me, and that's where I'm going to be in about 10 minutes. All right, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again. Cheers.